every time before they sell us out. Time is up. Seriously, it is too much. The stakes are too high. We need better leadership. We need someone to protect us. Nobody is. Sean Davis knows that feeling well. He co-founded The Federalist. We're happy to have him on tonight. Sean, thanks so much um, for coming on the show tonight. Just to, did you, tell us the obvious uh, thing. Did you know this was coming? No, we didn't. And it's actually really interesting how this came about. We never got any formal notice from Google. We never got any notice from their ad team. We learned about this from NBC News, from the uh, reporter, Ms. Frazier, who emailed uh, a general info account uh, at the Federalist. She didn't email me or my partners or my founders saying, hey, we heard that Google demonetized you. Uh, what do you think about that? And it's at that point where we started reaching out to connections that we have at Google and found out uh, that it turns out, yeah, something was going on there, but it wasn't what NBC or Ms. Frazier had said. In fact, uh, it looks like NBC, the network that coddled Harvey Weinstein and Matt Lauer, by the way, had partnered with a foreign left-wing group in Europe uh, to go after us and to use Google to go after us. And as of now, since we have temporarily removed our comment sections, I can assure you they will be back. We are back in Google's good graces. But this is a pretty terrifying example of the power that you have between the unholy union of corrupt media and monopolistic tech oligarchs. Well, that's it right there. And I, I think all of us have gotten over our shock at watching so-called journalists promote censorship, which they relentlessly do. The Daily Beast, CNN, NBC, all have pushed censorship and gotten it. But you got to kind of wonder, are laws being broken here? We have an election looming on the horizon. We have news companies trying to put their competitors out of business with the help of a monopoly that only exists because it has a special carve out from the United States Congress. Where is the Congress? Where is the Justice Department? Why isn't anyone stepping in to stop this now? Well, that's a great question. And we wondered the same thing. We uh, were subjected to all these demands in 2016 and after to get rid of foreign interference in our elections. And here we have a, a foreign unit uh, at NBC that with the Orwellian name, the NBC News Verification Unit, uh, the irony there is enough to make you laugh, seeking uh, with another left-wing foreign group to deplatform an American media organization, one that's supposed to be defended uh, and made sacrosanct under the First Amendment and trying to get us deplatformed by going to their left-wing friends at Google. So I, I think there are a lot of questions that need to be answered, especially by those involved at CNN who put forward a completely false and maliciously so article attacking us, slurring us, and slamming us and defaming us with things that had no basis in reality whatsoever. Uh, and if this were a just world, there would be accountability for that. There would be accountability for fake journalists who go around trying to destroy their competition for the crime of criticizing them. What's it, and especially siding with the most powerful company on Earth, Google has a has a monopoly on search. The Justice Department is looking into that. Let's hope they break up Google. But in the meantime, and, and Don, Donald Trump Jr. actually today tweeted about this. I thought he made a really good point. This is intentional interference in a presidential election. No, I mean, what else could it be? That's what it is. That that is absolutely what it is, and it's being done by people uh, who claim to be journalists, uh, who claim to believe in in free speech. Uh, and freedom of expression. And it's, it's not just that somebody came after us and tried to deplatform us. The, the whiny cry bullies uh, of the left do this uh, all the time to their enemies. They can't win arguments, so they try yeah. and shut them down. But to see this come from actual journalists uh, who, who claim to believe in the First Amendment, that was remarkable. And the other thing is, you know, we're, we're a pretty big organization. We're influential. Uh, we have a big audience and we have a lot of influence. We were able to stop this. Now, most people, 99.99% .99 of people who get canceled or deplatformed by these little Marxist cry bullies, they don't have any recourse. And it's what's that's happening right. to them that's the real crime. It's not what's happening to us. And no one is protecting them. All these people you vote for in the hope that when it comes down to it, they'll protect you. All of them are AWOL. It's, it's really revealing, I would say. Sean Davis, great to see you tonight. Thank you.